On today's video, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to be such a simpy, wimpy little boy for my next guest, who is Alana Pierce, Miss Australia extraordinaire herself. However, while I will be simping so hard for her, I will also be criticizing her latest comments. She's such a naughty little kookaburra, isn't she? In fact, that pert little Australian bottom will get a good old spanking from me because I'm such a naughty, naughty little boy. Well, space fans, exciting news, huh? And there's even more in part two. I'm coming for you, boy. I'm coming hard. I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym, I'm getting the feeling of coming at home, I'm getting the feeling... In the ass end of space, even aliens watch Jason King with Kung Fu Hot Dog. Duke Nukem likes this guy. By the way, folks, does this make you dizzy? Oh yeah, you should be very dizzy. Oh God, oh, I better stop doing that now. But I'll tell you something else that made me dizzy today. When I was on my way to do some quick early morning shopping, I heard this mother walking up to another single parent mother and saying, this is the first day my child is transitioning. I'm like, what on earth is going on in the world? And then my best mate, Alana Pierce, from Rooster Teeth and IGN. She's no longer a journalist, folks. Remember that she's now a writer for Santa Monica Studios. She's also the same writer who might have had some input in the way God of War Ragnarok turned out in the end. But of course, she is a champion for disabled people. I think that's very commendable. Alana Pierce is the same woman who a few years ago did a charity live stream where she played Doom Eternal on its hardest difficulty. Good grief, that woman put me to shame. I couldn't even get through that game on normal difficulty. So props to her for doing it. And she was great on the live stream. She defeated the last boss. And in fact, at some point, I'm going to go back and watch her play that game because my issues with Doom Eternal, the platforming was absolutely insane. I couldn't take it after a while. But the reason why I'm talking about this particular video today is because, well, Alana Pierce, two days ago, came out as coming out. And apparently two years ago, she also came out, but nobody was really paying attention. And I thought Alana Pierce actually dated men but maybe when she was saying she was having a date with somebody, she had to mask the gender of the person so as not to get any vitriolic hate towards her preferred lifestyle choice. And I would say, first of all, Miss Pierce, that's entirely up to you. You are your own person. So me and Ms. Pierce alone on a beautiful Saturday evening in a Miami Beach hotel where she does unspeakable things to my breakfast with her fun bags. You can clip that now, you can get on Asmongold and I'm sure he will roast me to death by that admission because yes, I've always fancied Ms. Pierce. I think she was always extremely attractive, but you know, she's in the, uh, she's getting raked over the coals at the moment and I, and I can't imagine why. Well, I can because I'm about to do a reaction to this video. So yesterday she made this video called Elden Ring the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC is very, very hard, amongst other things. So just to give you some clarity here, folks, for this video, what Miss Pierce talks about, the, the whole things you hear about Elden Tree, you gotta get good, bro, or sis, before you take on a big boss. Because basically what she says, you gotta die quite a few times, but you have to memorize the, the skill set of each of the bosses that you face against, and that's a fair point. And while she is an ambassador for disabled folks, the main point of contention here with her video is the fact that she's telling the um, developers of From Software games to think about disabled people when you're making these very complex games with their complex uh, mechanizations of how you take on enemies, 
But uh, yeah, this actual video didn't go down well for her at all. Just like a video about um, ugly female characters in video gaming, which is actually unlisted, which I now have anyway, my personal possession, like many other thousands of people have done as well. Is she gonna take this video down? No, because as Mongold's actually done, done a review for this, I'm not gonna go and see what he said. I might watch it at my leisure much later on. But I do want to get to this part of the video here. Introducing and talk specifically about accessibility and even just a lot of people really not understanding the. By the way, if Alana Pierce's face looks a little bit funny, she's been going through some physiotherapy treatment, she's been drugged up. So I think when she made this video, she was actually, maybe she just had a few doses of medication, which is why she's a bit slurry with her words. I will say Miss Pierce, oh sorry, didn't mean to move you there. It, it's, she's not the best presenter in the world. I think by her own admission, she's actually said that before. And uh, she's best mate to Troy Baker, but I haven't actually seen him on a live stream with her for ages. So is it her or is it Troy Baker, uh, his ability to friend and then unfriend people that he comes into contact with? I don't know. So again, she's a bit of a fast speaker that she and she slurs her words, but she has said she has tendonitis in her fingers, so she can't do a lot of button mashing with video games anymore, which is kind of like, as she's pointed out in the video, is quite the ironic thing that she's talking about uh, disability for folks who can't play certain video games. But let's get on with this. I've been rabbiting on too long now. Just a lot of people really not understanding the conversation about accessibility and Elden Ring. It has been brought up various times across various mediums uh, by various people that Elden Ring is not well, FromSoft games in general are not particularly accessible to disabled players. When people are asking for accessibility, um, are not actually asking for an easy mode. That isn't the intent. Here's the thing I want to spell out where accessibility is concerned. People who are disabled, I felt myself doing it, I'm going to do it, is another tangent. There are also multiple kinds of disabilities, especially where gaming is concerned. There are long-term disabilities, there are situational disabilities, there are temporary disabilities. It counts as a disability where a video game like Elden Ring is concerned if you have a kid. You have a two-year-old, you're trying to play Elden Ring, you can't pause. That is a situational disability that you have, where the game not having the option for you to be able to pause, for example, is a hindrance for your particular disability, a situational disability. You may need to- So if you're playing Elden Ring, Shadow of the Erd Tree, you can't pause that because it's a situational disability. What you're saying is, Miss Pierce, is that your ability not being able to pause the game is a disability. You're being disabled from being able to pause the video game that the designers from software have intended not to be a function in the Elden Tree or the Elden Ring DLC. See, rings and trees are all getting in the way now of my vocabulary today. And uh, what, I tell you, Miss Pierce's face has kind of gone a bit all like, ooh, it's a bit odd shaped now, isn't it? I mean, again, she's had fluctuations with her weight for years. She's actually said this. She has a physical condition as well that at some point, she might not be able to walk anymore. So um, I'm not being a doom monger here. She's actually got a debilitating condition where she has to swim in a pool of water and uh, try to get her joints just uh, reinvigorated. So she definitely has a lot of sympathy for me here, but why did she come out and make this video? Why did she make this statement? Yes, she's a champion for disabled folks. I get it and I, and I absolutely applaud it, but why? Does she want more views to her channel? More subscribers? I, the, did she not think that Asmongold would not be aware of this and offer his opinion to? Uh, it's so... It's, it, it's a bizarre situation. I mean, this is Clown World, folks. Anybody can go and make an opinion. Yours truly. And I'm sure at some point in the future, I too will get lambasted for something I said or forgot about. And I'll be like, hey, you know what? Just take it on the chin like a bro move on because life moves on as well. So courtesy of the Merriam-Webster online dictionary, what is a disability? It's a physical, mental, cognitive or developmental condition that impairs 
interferes with or limits a person's ability to engage in certain tasks or actions or participate in typical daily activities and interactions. Scientists have tentatively linked the reading disability known as dyslexia to a bevy of brain disturbances. There is a disturbance in the force then, Luke. Is that the case? So let's just play that part again because this is, well, not this part. I mean, yeah, let, let's just hear this part. Come on. Let's just, let's just see now why Miss Alana Pierce is an absolute waste of my time. No, I, maybe like two years ago, posted on Twitter during Pride Month, where I basically came out. Um, feels weird to even use that term, and I'll... There you go, she's come out now, so any hopes, fellas, that you might get a date with the lovely Miss Pierce, forget about them, just move on, folks. Be like John Rambo and walk down that road and <laughs> come across the next asshole sheriff who gives you the worst time of your life. But yeah, let's just go back to that again. There are situational disabilities yes. and temporary disabilities. Uh huh. It counts as a disability where a video game like Elden Ring is concerned if you have a kid. You have a two-year-old, you're trying to play Elden Ring, you can't pause. It is a situational... And ironically, I think the two-year-old kid, if you gave him or her the control, they might actually do a better job than the adults trying to get through the game. Of course, I'm exaggerating there, but you might have some very advanced two-year-olds, I don't know. But what I find extremely hilarious this insufferable bin's called Del Della Walker. Yeah, we're not going to call him Del, more like Della. Uh, he replies, he simps for Alana Pierce. I mean, I'm more of a bigger simp than he is. Uh, it's literally in the Microsoft inclusive design document as a situational disability example. So touch with one arm is permanent. If it's temporary, if you have an arm injury, situational if you're a new parent. I have cold read that for the first time. But of course, if you think Microsoft uh, are dictating the gospel about what a responsibility and a disability is, I would ignore that with an, an incredible amount of malice. Uh, again, Bill Gates, I used to like the guy once, but then before 2020, he had this codex, didn't he, about how you would erase people from the earth. So that guy's an absolute buffoon. And no wonder your wife divorced you, you absolute madman. So there you go, inclusive the Microsoft Design Toolkit. Oh my God, it's absolutely terrible. Well, getting all meta for a moment, this is me talking about Alana Pierce over a year ago where she got into some hot doo-doo on a podcast regarding the firm Tencent. Take it away, you buffoon with the yellow top on. By Tencent, but uh, this is what I've heard, rumors, not sure if any of this is true. Uh that's really weird. Of course, if you check the presenter out on the left, oh, you look at the rainbow t-shirt, folks. Oopsie doopsie. It's time to support LGBTQ. Boring. <laughs> oh, now, the thing is, look what Alana has said here. Right. She says, well, Tencent, they don't want black people in their films. Now, I've got to give you some context. So, a friend of hers apparently was making a film Tencent approached their friend and said, hey, we can fund you, but before you decide to make this film, these are our, these are our rules and our conditions. We don't want uh, people of color. I mean, this mentioned black people specifically. I'm pretty yeah. sure that's maybe even a broader spectrum, but we want ladies with bigger boobies. Now, I will say this much, <laughs> and if you know my channel, if you are a subscriber, I love me some big boobies. All hell, boobs. I want to kiss you all over and over and again. I want to kiss you all over, bum, 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 till the night closes in, till the night <laughs> This is... Alana Pierce's likeness from CD Projekt Red Cyberpunk 2077. Ms. Pierce, you should have got a refund already. That design is absolutely hideous and the catalyst for the ugly video game female character. Have I 
ever had any fantasies about her apart from the one I mentioned? Not really. Have I done unspeakable things to her images? No, I haven't. Although funny enough, in her earlier days when she became a lone presenter, a lone wolfess as it were, a lioness, whatever you want to call her, she was the subject of a battle between her likeness and that of a very famous adult site that used her images, her face, to get monetized from. And she went back and forth with them. And I think in the end, she just kind of let it ride the wave out because people will soon realize that Alana Pierce is um, not that way inclined. So I will say this much about her video today. I think her, her comments were very ill-informed. Should From Software make or design video games a mind for disabled people not to be left out from? No, they shouldn't because there are a lot of video games that disabled folks play anyway. I'm talking about the OG generation of the 90s, the, the, the mid noughts In fact, all of the noughts is great. And I've never seen disabled people complain about, oh, Elden Tree is too hard. Uh, and uh, no, it's not. I mean, there are lots of disabled folks who played The Witcher 3, which to me has some of the most challenging combat situations as well. But then again, I need to revisit that game because I want to play series DLC because she's an awesome character and I, I really like her a lot. But uh, oh my God, Alana Pierce. I mean, uh, again, people have been very aggressive towards her online and, and just focused on one specific thing. But I'm a, I'm a big fan of hers. And then again, you know, she's done this all coming out nonsense now. Well, good for you, Alana. I hope it all goes well for you in the future. But to, <laughs> to take parental responsibility and then flip it on his head and now trying to convince us is actually a disability is absolutely absurd. But oh, absurd. You see, I can't even speak properly at the moment today. Oh, my, I had no coffee today, folks. And I've had a million and one things going around in my house today. So it's been absolutely insane. A nurse coming to visit my mum to take her, her blood pressure or actually her, her blood, draining her blood from her very soul. That was a headache enough for me. I had to go out this morning and do and hear that ridiculous parent talking about the transitioning of her child. Oh, my God. I'm sure that was misinterpreted and it might have been some other form of transition. But these days, folks, it gets a little bit weird when you hear certain triggering words. It makes you think, what on earth were they talking about? But I'm sorry, Lana. I have to agree that while I'm an absolute major simp for you, despite the fact you've come out now, I, I can't actually fully agree. And, and again, video game companies... They should just make the game they want to because they're not stupid. They know all walks of life, and I'm talking about whether you're abled or disabled, will be able to at some point play your game. And yes, while Sony have championed disability for gamers uh, by color coding aspects for The Last of Us Part 2 and God of War Ragnarok, and why should, because I think that's going to be another, well, this might not be a popular opinion now that I'm going to say, but it, it might become more of a headache for developers who ironically are not disabled themselves just to craft the game uh, for specific needs. And again, what Alana Pierce has said in her video is that she doesn't want the difficulty load for Elden Ring and its DLC. It's just giving more access to players um, who might be <laughs> who might be disabled by looking after a child who's not disabled, neither is the parent. It, it's such a weird thing and it's it's hilarious to see. But of course it gives me a great excuse to put some really hot sexy images of Alana Pierce uh, in her lucrative career on my video because oh she is a one Aussie I would love to have well, tie me kangaroo down, sport, tie me kangaroo down. And on that one, ladies and gentlemen, if you were me, and if I were you, you might want to come back for the next video. This is what she looks like. Uh, and I think that this is probably just in this one-off. I think it's like a clip from like a yearbook photo or something like that. Um, I don't imagine the character actually looks like this, like functionally in gameplay, which I think is a thing that comes up a lot in these conversations about female video game characters getting too ugly. Now, Daddy hates to say this, but I think we should talk about the breasts.